Hey Saints, hey, I want to do a little bit of an update from my last video I've done about with my campsite with my, where I'm sleeping. Um, since then I've had a wet season. We're actually still in the wet season, even though it's a nice lovely day today. But we've had a lot of rain. And you can see behind me all the flooding that's taken place. Matter of fact, where I had my bed was just over there, where you can see now it's all underwater. <laughs> It's actually dropped down quite a bit compared to what it was uh, just a couple of weeks ago. But I've actually had to move to higher ground in the same bush location. But just over here, you can see where my camp is now. So it's just gone to a higher location, just out of the water. And um, I've also modified the bed a little bit too. I'll, have, I'll give you a look. You can see what I've done, I've actually got a, a bigger bed now. I actually have the same frame I had before, the same frame, but I've put some boards across it because what happened with the previous one, it sagged so much in the middle <laughs> that my, the bar was hitting my back. So I went and got some boards, just put some boards across the frame, got a bigger mattress and stuck that on there and I just covered it with the tarp just to keep any kind of any, any uh, water off it and so on and I've got this bigger mosquito net too it's a much bigger one rather the other little one I had what I found with the other small one is that it was actually hitting my body at night so it was sort of, hang, sort of hanging on me but I saw this bigger one at a camp shop so I went and got that one it it hangs up by six hanging points and um, so it's much more comfortable and it's out of the water, which is dry. So praise the Lord. You can see here, Saints, this is the uh, the track. That's also underwater now, which you've got to walk through to get to the camp. So I walk through here to get to the sleep. It's not that deep, I mean, it has been like knee deep before. But, um... And the rain stops for a few days and it, it drops down quite quickly. But you can see here, all the water everywhere is just like swamp land now. The good thing about that is that you ain't get too many people coming in here, which is good. <laughs> so I've got a bit of privacy. But you can see how the, all the tracks underwater. But that's alright, it's only water. <laughs> yeah? It's only water, it's not acid or something like that, so it's all good. As you can see here it's almost knee deep almost. <laughs> I remember I came here for one night and I saw an eel scoot off in front of me. <laughs> Big eel. So there we go. Back on dry ground again, praise the Lord. Hey Saints, just want to let you know something that, you know, in order to improve in anything, we have to start. And when I first came out here, you know, I asked the Lord where am I going to sleep and the first night I slept next to a train line, another night I slept out just out in, you know, just in a park. But as I saw the Lord, he brought me to this place, he said I've been here since then and it's been good and yet since then we've had a lot of rain because the wet season is now here we've had a lot of rain as you can see i mean this place is all flooded like a swamp now and yet the beds i'm still dry and now i have improved in things like i've got a, a better bed a better sleeping facility now i end up buying a big duffel bag a waterproof bag to keep all my belongings dry because they were getting wet soaking wet i had my bible in there i had my notebooks and stuff and they was all soaking wet when it started to rain. And I ended up putting my Bible and my books up on the dashboard in the car just to try to dry them out because it was raining for weeks on end. And it became quite annoying after a while, you know, just we just wet all the time. But through that you can learn and grow. And now the sun is shining, even though we're still in the wet season, but today's been a good day. And now the water's starting to subside a bit, which is good. But we've lear I've learned things through this. I really have learned to endure and learn to and learn to adjust. Yeah, by getting that duffel bag, I now have my belongings kept nice and dry. The bed is much more comfortable. I haven't got that bar sticking in my back anymore. 
Yeah? And I've got that big mosquito net so the net's not laying on me. And the Lord has provided. He's provided you know, blankets for me and then all kinds of stuff. It's just been really, really amazing how God is really providing. He has blessed me. He really has blessed this place. He really has. I've had nobody come here to try to harass me. Nothing. It's really remarkable. Really remarkable. God is so good. And there's been a lot of fruit on the street as well. Just amazing things. Miracles taking place. People repenting. Just had a couple of people get baptized just in the last week. It's really, really, really powerful. So that's what matters. That is what matters. Making disciples of Jesus Christ. Getting people saved. That's all that matters. Whether you're homeless or if you're living in a mansion. Regardless, the priority is go and make disciples. Amen. So I just want to give this update, guys. That yes, sometimes it gets tough. Yes, sometimes it gets uncomfortable. But okay, God is with us. And He strengthens us. Yeah? And it's amazing now since I've been out here. It's amazing what you can get comfortable with. It really is. Some people say, oh, I couldn't do that now. I couldn't go and sleep out there. No way could I do that, mate. But it's amazing what you can get comfortable with. Your comfort zone actually gets bigger as you step out of your comfort zone. Yeah? <laughs> your comfort zone gets bigger. So you can, you, can, you can cope with a lot more. Okay? But at the end of the day, make disciples. Be ready in season and out of season. Amen. So guys, just want to share that with you. God bless you. Remember to love God always. Keep on enduring for Jesus Christ. Amen. Until next time, bless you.